Now it's time to reveal a few of the fragrances that will be part of the winter collection this year. So it's Thursday and we're picking up where we left off last week. I hope you all enjoyed last week's episode. Please don't forget to subscribe, give a like and a comment on this video. It truly does help me out. I really am hoping I get my fragrance oils for my winter collection. I wanna get that out as soon as possible and these vendor delays are driving me nuts. So on yesterday's afternoon live, we poured these wax melts. So I'm gonna go ahead and close up the tops and then put on the labels. So whenever we get to the end of a collection and we're transitioning into a new season, the challenge always arises of should I order more fragrance oil? And I've gotten better at it. I generally can tell whether or not I'm going to need to order some more, but unfortunately pumpkin pastries was short, so we only were able to make a batch of 10. So on last week's episode, the one obstacle that I thought I was going to have to overcome was finding time to edit the video. And what I did was actually edited throughout the week, and it made it so much easier, less stressful, and I just had fun with it. So that's what we're going to do with this week. These vendor delays are driving me nuts. Thankfully, I just got a delivery and I think I know what it is. Now that the fragrance oils are here, I'm feeling a little bit more relieved. Things are back in my control. So now that my fragrance oils are here, I can get started on my winter collection. And that's what I plan on doing this weekend. So with all my collections, I always have six new scents that I'm gonna be working with. I like to give you some last year fragrances along with some new scents that I find throughout the year. Thank goodness these are finally here, which means that this weekend, I'm gonna be working on preparing the first batch of my winter collection. Get excited. So I had intended for this to be out a little bit sooner, but we're gonna go ahead and kick it into gear and get this collection out. It's time to take that box to the dumpster. So I had some time before my afternoon live, so I'm gonna go ahead and print off the labels that I'm gonna be pouring today. I'm cold. I always get cold right before my afternoon live. I'm not really sure why. Tonight, I'm gonna to plan out the schedule for my production runs for the winter collection that I'm gonna start on Saturday. The challenges I'm anticipating are going to be space. So with the start of every collection, I take up a lot of space in both rooms. I make all the fragrances all at once and it takes up a lot of space. So I went live on TikTok to promote the first episode of this series on YouTube and I set the episode to premiere. And little did I know that that meant that it was gonna live stream for everybody to watch. And a few of us actually did watch it. So moving forward every Friday at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, we'll tune in live together and watch the premiere of every single episode. Before I start on the winter collection production runs, I need to label up the fall collection because we have the final restock this coming Monday. The 
Cinnamon Broom was one of the top selling fall scents this year. Even though it was a repeat from last year, this year it seemed to knock it out of the park. With its clove, cinnamon, and buttercream, it's very reminiscent of the cinnamon broomsticks that appear at the grocery stores during fall time. It truly is a perfect blend of cinnamon and spice, and everything nice. Even though this cozy cinnamon fragrance reminds me of fall, it's a great scent to transition us into winter. Apple Fritter is the second most popular fragrance this fall collection, which comes to no surprise as it's usually the top favorite. This nice apple, vanilla, and cinnamon fragrance is so deliciously sweet, you're gonna fall in love as soon as you smell it. This is a staple fragrance that you have to get year after year. Definitely a favorite for anybody who loves those baked good fragrances. Pumpkin Pastries was a new addition to the fall collection this year. We previously had pumpkin latte, but as soon as I smelled this fragrance, I knew I had to bring it up. It's a very unique fragrance with the pumpkin we all love during the fall time, but a nice saltiness to give it a pumpkin pretzel type of vibe. Pumpkin pastries quickly became a favorite for many. Autumn Woods was a favorite last year and it seems to be a favorite again this year. With its cedar, clove, and musk fragrance notes, Autumn Woods is like walking through the forest when the leaves are changing. You get a nice earthiness along with the cedar, which makes it a really nice, cozy fall fragrance. I absolutely love this one. And at this point, I'd been working for quite some time, so I called it a night. But I knew I had a lot of work to do, so bright and early Saturday, I got back to work. Apple Orchard happened to be one of my personal favorites this year. A lot of you requested a true fresh apple fragrance, and this is that. With apple peel, dewy greens, and oak moss, Apple Orchard will have you reminiscing about picking apples in the fall. And last, but certainly not least, my favorite fragrance from the fall collection, and quite possibly one of my favorite fragrances of all time, Vanilla Cedar. With vanilla, cedar wood, and smoke musk, Vanilla Cedar is such a nice, warm, masculine fragrance. It's a staple fragrance of Illuminate Apothecary. At this point in the day, it's time for me to have a late lunch. And I caught a glimpse of this guy sitting in the window. This is my eldest cat, Vinny. He's been with me for some time now, and he truly is one of my best friends. Now begins the long, tedious process of preparing all the jars so that we can pour the wax into them. We first need to clean everything out with a little bit of alcohol, and then we secure the wicks into place.
So I finished preparing all the jars and both of my digi boilers are ready for me to pour. And I go to heat up my first pitcher and my heat gun malfunctions. It's not heating at all. It's pretty much a hairdryer at this point. So my heat guns that I'm using are very, very hot and this is just not going to cut it. So at 8 p.m. I have to run to Lowe's to get a new heat gun. It's the last thing I want to be doing, but it's got to be done. I have two digi boilers full of wax and I can't turn them off. After getting the heat gun, I did end up pouring the first few batches of the winter collection, but I decided I'd go ahead and start filming again the next morning. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. And now it's time to reveal a few of the fragrances that will be part of the winter collection this year. Every year I come out with a very popular pine fragrance. In my first year, I came out with balsam fir. In my second year, I released Fraser fir, and Fraser fir knocked it out of the park. It was a fan favorite and it kept on selling out last year. So I'm very pleased to announce that Fraser Fur will be coming back again this year. Now the second fragrance coming back this year from last year and the year before is Christmas Eve, which is a berry, cinnamon, and pine fragrance, everything that you'd want in a Christmas candle. It's one of my personal favorites and I'm so happy that we're gonna be bringing it back again this year. And the third fragrance that we're bringing back this year is Log Cabin. Get ready to cozy up with Log Cabin this winter as it truly smells like you're sitting in your own hand-built log cabin. A lot of people fell in love with this fragrance last year. It was a brand new fragrance last year, so we're gonna bring it back again this year. Now the moment you've all been waiting for, when is the Winter Collection coming out? I am so happy to announce that the Winter Collection will be ready on October 30th, Monday at 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. And on next week's episode, Friday the 27th, I will be announcing the final three scents that will be part of that Winter Collection. Now those scents are brand new, and I am very excited for you all to get them. Let me know in the comments what you think those final three fragrances are going to be. And we'll find out next week if you're right. Next week, not only will we figure out what the final three fragrances are in the Winter Collection, but we'll also take a look at the designing process and product photography that I'm going to be doing for this Winter Collection. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a like, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I release new episodes every week, and I look forward to seeing you next time.